Well, good morning. Today is 2-22-22. Happy Tuesday to you. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Uh, we'll have more about that and the deals that come with today. I'm Danielle Wiggins with your 3 News Now morning update. And we start with Holly, who's tracking a wet forecast. Danielle, a soaker is what we've got going on today. Rain will continue through this morning and into the afternoon. This is the view at noon today, and we continue to see rain very steady through the afternoon hours. By this evening, it does start to subside, and we'll just have some scattered shower chances left over overnight. Temperatures making the drop into the 30s by the time we are on tomorrow morning. So it's definitely going to be a bit of a shift as far as uh, those numbers numbers go 30 degree difference from one day to the next. But hey, at least we got the little break as we look ahead on your Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook. Tomorrow will be a quiet day outside of just the leftover cloud cover. Then on Thursday, we're tracking another potential winter storm. That's going to be late in the day, not Thursday morning. So Thursday late in the day, a wintry mix possible. And that will change over to all snow into Friday, waking up to the potential of more accumulation. We will keep you updated through the week. One thing for certain is it's going to trend below normal even through this weekend and early next week. Danielle, back to you. Thank you so much, Holly. And some updates to bring you right now. Here are three things to know. A $5,000 reward is being offered in an arson case out of Parma. Fire officials there estimate about $1 million in damages from the fire at St. Anthony of Padua, which is an elementary school. But while the parish says this damage will be covered by insurance, the community is still in disbelief. We are all sickened over it. It is, it's pretty disgusting to think that somebody could purposely do this to an elementary and middle school. Now the students are waiting to hear what will happen next. For now, the parish is looking at moving students to St. Bridget Elementary School, which closed its doors last year. The hope is to get those students back in the classroom sometime next week. All Star Weekend here in Cleveland coincided with a human trafficking crackdown. Eight people were arrested and operation filed out. Multiple law enforcement agencies and social service organizations helped with the operation. Those arrested are from all over Northeast Ohio. And the investigation continues into a shooting death over the weekend. A 31-year-old man was shot in the chest on West 10th and Front Street in the flat Sunday. Right now, police believe it happened when the man went out to his car to grab something and several people came out of a gray sedan and shot him. There is a reward of up to $5,000 available for information leading to an arrest. And turning to the pandemic, Lakewood City Schools has decided to make a major policy change. As of today, the district's mask mandate will be suspended. This is actually the first time in nearly two years that students will not be required to wear masks in class. Lakewood officials say they made the decision based on the recent sharp drop in the number of COVID cases. And speaking of cases, for the first time in six and a half months, our numbers of new COVID-19 cases in Ohio, well, those numbers are below 1,000, and that's for back-to-back -back days. The state reported 851 new cases Monday, after just 899 new cases were reported for Sunday. So is this the beginning of the end? What we don't know is, at least I don't know, is, is this going to settle as a seasonal respiratory virus like the other seasonal coronaviruses? You know, we'll just have to wait and see. Right now, the Cleveland Clinic has 132 patients hospitalized for COVID, a far cry from December and part of January. The clinic is now scheduling non-urgent surgeries and urging patients to schedule delayed routine care. University Hospitals is asking you to do the same. So, well, the answer to the question, is this the beginning of the end? Well, the answer is it's too soon to know exactly what COVID will look like in our daily news or daily lives for the long term. Doctors say the virus is trending in the right direction and we have a lot to look forward to as we head towards spring. And two major cruise lines are lifting their mask mandates. Royal Caribbean International says that starting this Friday, fully vaccinated passengers will no longer have to wear masks indoors. Carnival Cruise Lines announced they are lifting mask requirements at most venues going into effect March 1st.
Okay, so if you filled up your gas tank lately, ooh, you have felt the pain at the pump. Gas prices are now at an eight year high due in part to the Ukraine crisis and they could soar even higher. Russia is the world's third largest oil producer and experts warn that an invasion, sanctions and counter sanctions could push gas prices to all time highs. The national average is at 3.51 a gallon, which is up 20 cents in a month. I think that combined with the seasonal ingredients would push the national average up beyond the $4 a gallon mark. It's simply just a matter of time. U.S. home heating bills are also surging. Saudi Arabia does not want to pump more oil than already promised, as the U.S. fracking industry has resisted White House pressure to produce more. Now, a group of Democrats wants to suspend the federal gas tax to save Americans 18 cents a gallon through year's end. Alrighty, so as I told you earlier, today is Tuesday, TWO, meaning the date is 2-22-22. And with this special date comes food deals you should know. Burger King is offering Perks members 22% off a purchase of $2 or more. Wayback Burgers is selling burgers for $2.22, but only between 2-22 and 3-22 this afternoon. And Grubhub is giving a 22% discount using the promo code 22222, which is just the date, everybody. Well, thank you for taking time to join me for this 3 News Now morning update. Our digital team will continue to bring you the stories making headlines around Northeast Ohio and beyond. Make sure you continue to check our social media pages and WKYC.com throughout the day. I'm Danielle Wiggins, and I'll see you tomorrow morning on go starting at 4.30 a.m. Have a great day, everybody.